Hello. Can you join us today? We're going to augment our reality. Uh, as usual for me, this is presented in 3D. So if you're in a headset or some 3D type device, go to YouTube VR or big screen, whatever you usually use, and set side by side and you'll see in 3D. If you're not on a 3D device, you could put on your glasses like the older days, or there is a button in most YouTube players to just view in 2D, so do that. Here's a little app I made in Godot. Primarily what I wanted to do was access the global mesh, they call it, the, the scanned 3D mesh, uh, what I did in my Quest 3, and pressing this button, you can see I did that. Hooray! But on the way, I did a few other things, so let's have a look at those. Right, my app. I'm going to pretend that we don't have any boundaries, I mean, any space setups rather. So I'm going to clear all of them, clear all of those, and put that down. So the first time I run my app, if it can't find a space, it calls the meta set up your space thing. On a quest 2, it lets you draw the walls, and a quest 3, it lets you actually scan the mesh. So, this is pushing the hardware a little bit because I'm also recording, remember. So, I'm going to make it nice and slow. This might be a little bit jerky. Again, that's just because we're recording both eyes to the headset, etc, etc. Hello puppy, you comfy there. So, I want to get quite a nice little scan here. Just to make sure everything works without me having to uh, re record this. So, as you can see, it thinks we finished the scan a little while ago. I want to get in some nooks and crannies. But right there, make sure I got my floor. I think that'll do for our poi poises. So I continue. I'll do a little bit of processing on that. I'll identify a few things, features. There you go. I continue. See if this has other room, and we are complete. And we're back in my app, where it's only fucking identified the windy and my usual gag of if you want to see what the weather is, look outside. It's putting the weather forecast on any window it finds. It's putting the weather forecast for Colt Bridge on any window I find, because I haven't figured out how to do locations and stuff, but it's just a HTTP call. It's easy enough to do. And here we are, table, wall, again I'll press my button, that's my mesh, I uh, can now press another button and export, that's me saved it to the file system. Uh, so I can take that out to uh, a 3D package and dick about with it, or I can save it for... Um, prototyping and offline use without actually having the helmet or the headset on. And the other thing I did, is now that I'm standing in this 3D room, I was like, I wonder how big that couch is. Oh, it's about that big. Sorry, how tall is that room? Or how wide is that room? Oh, it's about that wide. How tall is that room? 
Is that tall? How big's the door? Kinda cute, huh? Uh, window, how big are you? We go from there. Come a bit closer, more accuracy. Cute, huh? That's it, that's what it does. Bye.